Yeah, Terry, I mean, uh, Megan talked about the travel. Any worry about, you know, if there's delays kind of getting the team out of the, you know, I know you guys are creatures of habit, um, you know, worried about kind of <laughs> that throwing them off if there are delays or, or issues with, with travel? Well, yeah, here's the thing, Mike, there's just so much you can control. We cannot control the weather and what it's going to do. And so, um, you know, we'll be a lot on our feet and, and we'll do what we have to do. But what we will not do is we will not get in any aircraft if it's unsafe. I can pr promise you that. Um, but, um, you know, as of right now, everything is, um, is, is good to go. We're scheduled here to practice uh, film at 10 and then we're scheduled to be at the airport at 2 o'clock for a 2.30 departure. Seth. Yeah, Terry, when you were talking about this game the other night and you mentioned the uh, the bitterness that you all felt uh, after, you know, Caitlin Clark hit the buzzer beater last year to, you know, win that game. Is that feeling something that kind of sticks with you going into a, a you know, a rematch like this? Like, does that kind of give you all some extra fuel for a game like this? Yeah, you know, I don't know, Seth. We didn't talk about it. You know, I think obviously, you know, Chloe, because, you know, she fell and and you know, was a little bit delayed in getting to, to Caitlin, you know, as a coaching staff, we probably feel like we could have, we might've made a different decision, you know, to put somebody on the ball. Um, so all those things go through your mind, but at the end of the day, you can't change any of it, but um, you know, we've always had great battles when we go over there and play um, you know, it's two really, really great teams. And, and, you know, I have uh, my sense is that it's going to be another great battle between two really good teams. Um, and um you know, we had, we have to, you know, whether they, they've it gives them extra motivation. I don't know. I just think, you know, the motivation of what we're trying to do uh, in, in terms of our goals um, you know, they're the next, they're the next uh, team that's on our schedule that we have to go and figure out a way to beat. Mike, did you have another question? Hand still raised. I didn't know if you had something else. Yeah, sure. Uh, in, ter in terms of Caitlin, where have you seen the growth in her game when you kind of watch film or scout her um, as you've kind of seen through the, through the last yeah. three years? You know, I think, um, and, you know, she's talked about her strength that she put on, you know, the, 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 the good strength, you know, um, the good weight, I guess, uh, you know, in terms of her body and, uh, you know, her durability, I think that's part of it, you know, her conditioning, her strength, the durability, because, you know, so much is on her, you know, um, in terms of scoring and, and taking a lot of shots, but also, um, you know, she sees different coverages. So I, I think just probably mentally, um, you know, the growth that she's had, um, the physical growth as well. Um, are probably two things that, uh, you know, come to my mind. I mean, she's still taking shots from, you know, where she's always taken them from um, and making plays, which, you know, are incredible uh, to, to watch. So, um, you know, uh, you know, I think she's matured also as a, as a player, you know, on the floor. Um, and so, um, yeah, and that's what you, you know, I'm sure Coach Bluter is, uh, been more than surprised with not surprised pleasantly um, you know happy with uh, you know what she's how she's been able to grow because that's what you want your players you know to do is grow every year Matthew hi coach um, this is probably going to be the, the the biggest stage uh, since Stanford I, I know that earlier in the season you said that you don't necessarily care all too much about rankings and stuff but do you think amongst you or the players talking amongst themselves, do you think that there's added mo uh, motivation to kind of um, get one back on sort of primetime television after that Stanford loss? Well, we talked a little bit about that yesterday. You know, I think for us, we want we just want to perform better, um, you know, than we did uh, the second game of the season. And, um, and so I think we will. I think we've made improvements. I think we've grown as a basketball team. Um, you know, I, I, I said this yesterday uh, with the Big Ten, you know, one of the things about winning a championship, just because you do that a year ago doesn't mean you then the following year you get to start in the middle of the mountain and climb it. You got to start at the bottom again. And um, we've we've improved um, as a new team, as a different team than we were a year ago. We've improved since the Stanford uh, game. And um and so, you know, I, I think for us, it's it's a great opportunity uh, to showcase, uh, you know, our program. I was programmed the Big Ten on a national stage. And, um, 
you know, I, I feel like it's, it's going to be, as I mentioned, it's going to be a great battle between two really, really good teams. Todd. Terry, uh, you know, when it comes to your team from the outside, looking in with so many players back from last year, it, it would appear that the chemistry is very similar, but every team is its own entity. Every year is different. What's been different about the chemistry of the team this year versus last year? You know, I think our, if you ask our kids that question, Todd, they would tell you that it's it's uh, probably better than it was a year ago. And, um, you know, just in terms of, you know, we're playing, uh, you know, more kids off the bench. Uh, you know, they've always had a great um, – uh, they've had great chemistry, synergy. They, they love each other. They want each other to do well, and they're – about each other um and so you know when you have a team like that 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 certainly helps on the floor i don't care what anybody says a team that's close in that locker room is 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 typically connected and close on the floor um and so um you know i think that uh, we've been really lucky here at indiana especially the last probably five years with uh, the chemistry that we've we've had and that's our culture uh and that's being about uh, something that's bigger than ourselves and um and so it's continued to um you know, grow, but, um, you know, I, like I said, I've heard our kids talk before and I've talked to them about locker rooms and, uh, and so forth. And, uh, you know, they feel like, um, it's even better than it was a year ago, which I think is a really good thing. Skip. And last year was really good. So. Good morning, coach. Uh, you had, you guys had a little bit of challenge, uh, earlier in the week against the, uh, the pressure inbounding on uh, against the pressure mm -hmm. um two or three turnovers uh, on the inbound of course that pretty rapid fire 10 count uh, crossing the line um do you expect to see uh any full court press against iowa and what have you done to address that yeah i don't think that we'll see that skip i don't know i don't coach their team but uh, that's not something that they are you know um probably known for as far as pressure. Now they will switch defenses, you know, um, in the past we've uh, always prepared for a triangle and two, we've prepared for a two, three zone and, um, you know, certainly a man to man. So, um, you know, they're, they're um, like us more, more half court oriented, you know, from a defensive perspective. Um, and so you know, that's what we've, we've always prepared for, uh, you know, these are two teams that know each other quite well. So, um, you know, that's, that's been our preparation the last two days. Seth, go ahead with last question. Okay. Um, well, actually two things, uh, if that's okay. Um, she's so, got, she's got like three minutes. So. Okay. Um, then obviously, you know, Monica Sanano inside was a big, you know, big presence for them last year. She's mm -hmm. gone and they have Hannah Stolke inside now just <laughs> from scouting them just how has she been able to kind of fill in for them? And, and what are you looking for from that matchup between McKenzie and Stolke? Well, you know, they've always had great uh, post play. You know, Jan Jensen, who's one of their associate head coaches, does a terrific job with their post play. Uh, and, uh, you know, Stolke is a – she's a great athlete. Um, and so first, her rim running, you know, is something that we're going to have to be prepared for. Uh, she probably has better ball skills than Cezano had when you when you bring her out on the perimeter. Uh, so our ability to be able to sit down and guard her off the bounce from the high post area, uh, Mac will have to do without fouling. Lily will have to do without fouling. Um, you know, she's physical. Um, and so, you know, she is a, she's a challenge. I mean, yes, Cezano was, uh, you know, uh, she and Mac had great battles, but, um, you know, they've, um, um, you know, Stalky's different, you know, as far as her game, but nonetheless, she's, she's very talented. Did you have something else, Seth? Yeah, and I was just going to ask, you know, was it, was it in fact just ice and tender loving care that Chloe needed on the ankle? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what she needed. She's, she's good to go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, coach. Thank you, guys.